Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California, and welcome to another Planting with Julian. Before I start with my new babies, I wanted to put Sonia's plant baby that she gifted me as a trade with my original Moonshine Sensevaria. Mine, as you can see, size difference is a lot smaller from hers. So I'm gonna take out my Sensevaria and I might see, I might put it in this planter. If not, I'll put it back here restyled. So I wanna take care of that first and then we'll move on to recently purchased plant babies for my birthday plant haul. It is Leo season and my birthday is right around the corner. So I've been doing a lot of plant shopping for my birthday plant hauls, which has been very fun incorporating new plants into the collection. So I definitely wanna take care of a few of them in today's video. And I'm gearing up to film my summer plant tour for 2020. And before I do any kind of plant tours, I always like to do a bunch of planting with Julian's, whether it's switching plant babies to go back into the greenhouse because they're not doing good, or bring out plant babies if they're doing good from the greenhouse, or any plant babies that I recently purchased and I wanna style them and put them into the plant tour. I like to do a lot of planting videos, whether it's switch outs, or incorporating my new plant babies into the collection for the plant tour. I like to take care of all of that before I film. So next week, I'm gonna start gearing up to film my summer plant tour. So I wanna take care of these plants so that you can see them in the plant tour. Just go through this really quickly and clean up these sense of areas. The moonshine is definitely not a common sense of area. Do you consider the moonshine where you live to be a common sense of area or do you find them to be on the rare side and you rarely come across them? I'm gonna just spruce up the soil. So I'm gonna add some worm castings and then we're gonna put the worm castings that I use. I've been using this now for over a year. This is my second bag of this same brand. I am leaving to go back to Las Vegas in two days so I definitely want to take care of the collection as much as I can and then when I'm back all I have to do is just clean up after the tree and then I can film the plant tours so I look forward to sharing with you all of the new plant babies I recently incorporated in the collection over the past few months since I last did my spring 2020 plant tour so I think it's probably gonna live in this planter. So this will live in the center and then I'll stick my original moonshine around it. So I think this is what it's gonna look like. I think, I'm not sure. Because if I put it back in here, maybe. I might wanna put my new Hoya in this one. So let's see. If you can fit back in the same planter, I just took out my original ones, then it'll just... You can totally tell my moonshine from Sonia's large moonshine. She gave me such a gorgeous piece from her mother plant, so thank you, Sonia. And I gave her, if you watch on the vlog channel, I gave her a Hoya Crinkle 8 that was growing in my greenhouse and some Tritoscantia cuttings from my bathroom as a thank you. So I'm just going to pull this up really quickly and then move on. Definitely don't want to touch them if I don't have to. So glad I was able to take care of this before I leave again. So it worked out. I could put them back in the same planter. So mine's and Sonia's together. And in time, they'll just blend together. So thank you, Sonia, so much. I love my new full planter. So, so the next one I want to take care of 
is my monstera cuttings these are rooted the rest are not rooted this is from my subscriber on our third plant trade she actually gave me cuttings from our second plant trade which didn't even root on me and they all toppled in and curled up and i had to throw them out and these are the cuttings that she gave me that were already rooted up for her and the rest of the cuttings that she gave me is doing the same thing it has not rooted up in water yet and it's curling in so i might have to throw that one out believe it or not so i want to take care of this and see how well it does before i head to las vegas this is definitely something i want to do so let me just add a little bit of worm castings put it in a Daiso planter and I'll monitor it if I feel like it's not doing good when I'm back in a week then I can do some changes but it's just been living in water and I think it's the perfect time for me to put them into soil so wish me luck I would love to have a full planter Especially if the original cutting she gave me I didn't even root and curled up on me and I had to throw it out so sad but I'm trying to figure out what to do with the other cuttings that I have that I got from our third trade that is curling up on me and not doing anything no growth of any water roots nothing see how this one does for me so cute this here I'm so glad I took care of that okay next I have some horrors here I do want to add some orchid bark this is my new bag of orchid bark you can find this in my amazon store my affiliated link to my amazon store is in my description box for my hoyas i like to have orchid bark in the mixture and let's plant up my australis my hoya australis i have two of them and let me see the condition of the soil it's in okay i'm not gonna get mad it's well established i see some small little fine orchid bark only on the top why is that not in the soil hmm i'll mix the nursery soil with mines you can see the way how they were growing it okay that's one them together that is some interesting stuff that is growing in this nursery planter but I'm gonna incorporate their soil with mine just because I can see that it was doing really good with all of these roots so
much better to my liking. So this is houseplant soil with perlite and orchid bark and worm castings. Now, are you gonna go in here together? I think so. That's gonna look good. For my Hoyas, I have them in either white planters or terracotta. I'm not really picky. Like my big Hoya compacta, that's over five feet long, is in a terracotta. So half of the collection for the Hoyas are in terracotta. Half of them are in white ceramic planters. But this is the mixture that I do give them. Okay. There it is. So cute. I have these Hoyas unidentified. If anybody knows the ID on these Hoyas, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't know the IDs and it wasn't identified and the nursery that I bought them from did not know the ID of it. They just were selling it and I, decide, I decided to buy two of them so that I can propagate from it and I'm not mad with the soil so yeah I'm not mad with the soil. I'll keep it and I'll just mix it with mine. The nursery didn't know the ID of these Hoyas and I just decided to buy them anyway so that I can... I just decided to buy them anyway because I collect Hoyas and I can propagate from it. If I have two, if I bought one, I would not want to propagate from it. So if you're interested in this Hoya or know the ID, I am more than happy to sell cuttings from it and if you know the ID, that would just be awesome. Okay, so. Some mystery Hoya. A part of me wanna say it's a very old Hoya Carnosa, but I don't know, I'm not too sure. The leaves look so similar, you know, sometimes and then you can't really identify them until you see the blooms. Okay, so that's one. And this is two. So I could easily sell this one if I wanted to. That's a nice one and then keep the rest. I'm fine with that. Okay. gonna fit in this big terracotta planter if not I have a bigger one let's see because if I add you you and you in here it might work out if not I'll bring out a bigger terracotta planter Here we go. This one can go here. This one can go here. And this one can go here. Okay. Let me see. If not, I'll get the bigger terracotta out. Hmm. 
let's see, let's see. Wow. Hard to ID this one. I don't know what this is. What do you guys think? What kind of Hoya do you think this is? Not sure. That it kind of gives me Hoya Carnosa vibes, but again, sometimes their leaves look so similar that it's hard to tell them apart. Because I do have the Hoya Carnosa, but my leaves are slimmer and these ones are more wide. So very hard to tell. I don't know. I don't know what you are, but I know you're a Hoya. So I have to get you. So here it is guys oh my goodness this is gonna go in my macrame hanger right here so gorgeous I'm trying to think if i ever bought a hoya that old before besides the hoya compacta that was a gift from tristan okay now i think i want to switch gears i have my coco coir mixture in here This one for sure, I want Coco Coir mixture. I'm gonna add some water to this. I do have a mixture on the bottom, but it's okay. That looks good. It's just one plant, unless there's another plant I would like to convert into Coco Coir mixture. Ideally, I would like all of my ripsalises to be in coco coir mixture. Miss. mixture because I'm only doing one plant with cocoa coir mixture for today's episode so I just wanted to mix up a small batch but in time I would like to have all of my ripsalises and epiphyllums in this mixture so worm castings, orchid bark, cocoa coir and pumice now, here is my Ripsalis. I wanna say it's a red coral Ripsalis. I don't know because it was not identified. I took out the top dressing. It's very rare that I get top dressing when I plant shop. And I don't top dress my plants. I think if I did, I would probably be broke because I have hundreds of plants. Um, but I'm gonna set this on the side. I can easily use this towards one of my plant babies on the cactus or succulent shell. I want to dump the soil that it's in and we're converting you to coco coir so there's two cuttings in here here they are rooted cuttings okay bye bye to this mixture for me is to switch out my epiphyllums 
and my ripsalises in a cocoa foyer mixture. one last hoya that I had from I want to say last year it's very tiny and I really didn't do anything to this plant because it was so tiny and I didn't want to stress it out so it's been living in a nursery planter but I feel bad because I'm taking care of my new hoyas why not take care of this one so let's plant you up here gang looks super cute stay tuned for an upcoming planting with julian probably my next planting with julian there's a handful of plant cuttings that are living in water that i want to root up but i definitely wanted to take care of these monstera cuttings in today's video i didn't want to wait another day i'm just going to give them some water i'm going to water the collection after this but i do like to water the plant babies at the end of my planting videos We'll just give them a little. Before I wrap up today's video, I want to do a plant friend shout out. Today's plant friend shout out is going to Olivia. Posted up on my Hoya Compacta video, and she says here, beautiful. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think about today's planting with Julian. We have a bunch of Hoyas. I have my new sense of area that I got from Sonia with my original moonshine. I have a new Ripsalis in the collection. And sound off in the comments down below if you can identify this particular Hoya because I do not know. And it is killing me trying to figure out what it is. So I'm gonna be doing some research. If you have any of the plant babies, let me know in the comments down below. Do you find this to be a rare plant for you, a common plant? How do you like having this plant in your collection? I love Hoyas and Sensivarias and Ripsalises, so this was a very fun planting with Julian for me. And to be able to plant up those Monstera cuttings today, definitely wanted to do that and not wait another day. So stay tuned for more planting with Julian. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday, Thursday, and the vlog channel, Friday, Sunday, you get a video each and every day. And if you're interested in any of my planting with Julian merchandise for 2020, these are all handmade from my grandma. I have face masks, pot holders, bags as well as aprons available and any of my plant babies i'm definitely willing to sell cuttings from or any of the babies that are growing in the greenhouse so if you see any plant babies in my collection and you're interested in it i definitely don't mind sharing from the collection so if you see any plant babies in any of my videos that you would like a part of or a cutting of and you live in the u.s mainland i definitely don't mind selling off any part of the collection as long as it doesn't ruin the look of the plant I'm gonna end here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you soon. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.